The runner, also known as the dog alien or ox alien, is an adult form of the species. Xenomorph XX121 spawned from a quadrupedal host animal, such as a dog. Runners, as their name implies, are fast and agile and can spit acid from their mouths. Runners have variously been portrayed as being slightly larger and slightly smaller than typical. Human spawned aliens, differences that no doubt derive from the animal that hosted the creature. However, the runner in Alien 3 is around 7 feet 5 inches tall when standing on its hind legs. The runner was first introduced in Alien 3 as the main antagonist of the film. It has subsequently appeared in many video games and other expanded universe media. Runners are physically quite different to human spawn xenomorphs due to the species's tendency to inherit aspects of its host's physiology through the DNA reflex. In the case of the runner, the adult has most notably taken on its host's quadruped posture with digitigrade hind legs. Like drones, runners have smooth domed carapaces, and they are also one of the few xenomorphs not to have the distinctive dorsal tubes typical of many other casts. They also have a more barrel-shaped chest, similar to many quadrupedal animals. Their skin is tinted brownish-red as opposed to the more usual gray-black. While capable of standing and walking on their hind legs, runners typically remain in their quadrupedal stance when moving, and this makes them among the fastest xenomorphs. They are equally capable of traversing floors, walls and ceilings at speed on all fours. However, physically runners are not as tough as warriors or drones, relying on their speed and agility to outmaneuver threats, rather than strength to overcome them. A runner also tends to use its tail attack, which stuns the victim, more often than the drone. They can also run into prey with crushing speed and weight. Unlike other chestbursters, in Alien 3 the runner is shown to be born fully formed and only needs to grow larger. Why this is so is never explicitly stated. However, in the special edition, where the alien is spawned from an ox, it is hinted that this could be a result of the chestburster being unable to escape its host's chest cavity at the typical interval, likely due to its higher structural rigidity, as the ox dies some time before the chestburster hatches. Furthermore, the special edition chestburster is considerably larger than a typical specimen when it finally emerges from the corpse, indicating it had already begun maturing within. Runners, being generally fewer in number than other xenomorph types, utilize stealth in their attacks and have been known to take advantage of their ability to spit acid some distance, often hanging back from targets and striking from range, perhaps behind the cover of assaulting warriors, runners will often wait until their prey is alone before ambushing them, although they have been known to strike at members of larger groups if an opportune target presents itself. The intelligence of runners is often debated. On Fiorina 161, instead of gathering live hosts for the soon-to-be-birthed queen, a runner displayed a tendency to kill its victims. Outright, sparing none, with the exception of Ripley, who was carrying a queen embryo. It has therefore been theorized that xenomorphs gain intellectual, mental, as well as physical traits from their host, and that this may influence the adult creature's level of intelligence and instinctual behavior. However, it is also possible the runner was simply reducing the size of the human population in order to guarantee the young queen's safety. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe to the channel. Also don't forget to turn on notifications by clicking the bell next to the subscribe button. And I will make more videos about the Alien and Predator universes, hope you'll enjoyed. And have a great day.